Hi guys, so you know recently I picked up this set, this is the Craft Consortium uh, Candy Christmas, and I just realized this is out of the packaging from whenever I had hauled it, but it's okay, we're going to use that today actually. Um, but I haven't had a chance to get to it, and I want to play with this, so I mean it is super cute. I'll link the other video because I went, went through everything, I'm not going to do that again in this video. Um, but I know yeah, pretty available. much everything is still available on ecstasy crafts and of course I do have um, what would be an affiliate relationship with them with the affiliate discount code so those will all be linked in the description box and those will be again affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items those links and the code gets you 10% off and that's all in the description box and if I remember to put the code here I will put it here because yeah sorry so um, okay and then um, I, you know, I was just looking at I really want to play with these guys. They're so cute. And it's decoupage. I know that's a little bit different for some people, you know, in the U.S. We really don't do a lot of decoupage. Um, I would think it's more of like a British thing, maybe some other countries. But um, it is so cute. And I just really love these little guys. So uh, we have this. I know in the paper we had something that looked like, um, like little backgrounds. Not this one. Oh, look at this. I mean, they're very similar to what's going on here. So very cute. Um, where is the other one I was thinking about? These guys. Now this is a six inch uh, square uh, paper, so it's obviously much smaller, much thinner, you know. What I was going to do, I'm thinking, I guess I have two of those because I picked up two of them, is use this one. I haven't measured this, but I think it's going to work out. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, this is just the cutest. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this one doesn't hurt my heart so much to cut it out because on the back is just a striped paper, so that's okay. What happens is a lot of times there'll be something else that's super like, oh, I don't want to cut that either, but you know, we got to we got to use it, guys. Um, I think these are probably 4 inches wide because um, you know, it's a 12 inch piece of paper and there's three sections. But let's just make sure. Yeah, 4 inches wide and then of course 12 inches the other direction. Um, I want to use these guys. They come with their own little background piece. Right, you can build these things off of this, but I can also just use this. Maybe later I want to layer it on something else and then, you know, just uh, use our corner chomper on the edges so they're rounded too. And then you have like another little card, maybe a little four inch square card or whatever this might be. Um, but today what I was thinking is, oh my goodness, you know, oh my gosh, like, I mean, look at him in his little snow globe. Like, you guys, these are so adorable. I want one that looks like it fit in this scene. I mean, this one would do it. To be honest, because they have all the little trees and they're kind of decorating um, the little house. I mean, these guys are just hanging out out there in the snow. Very cute. Again, you're supposed to layer them on top of these little squares. Oh my gosh! And you know what? Even if the um, thing I'm thinking about doing, you can probably do it with any of these guys or layer a bunch of them up. So I'm thinking the house might work the best. Let's see. Layer two. So I'm not going to use that base layer. What I was thinking about doing is building this guy up. So that way yeah, you can put this on a card, but now we have a card that's the shape and size that we want. So let's say four by six to make it like a A4. And then we build this little guy up and then we add our sentiment or however. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So let me trim these papers down. I'm just going to cut these off here and just take it to my guillotine. You know, Take that off, take that off, and then cut it about six inches wherever I think I would like. Well, it's basically going to be right in the middle, right? Because it's six inches, unless you're like looking at a different portion of it. But I will be right back. Now that I'm cutting it, honestly, if you want to even build this up and like you still have this, and maybe if you're cutting it six inches, you can still build up a little something that's a scene. And in the background here, we have other characters, you know what I'm saying? How cute. Oh my gosh. But. So I was gonna build it up on here, so it's a little more plain. Um, I did cut this at three and seven eighths, though, because I like that kind of matte layer. So I'll do also what I'll also do, should I say, is cut these guys this side at five and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. Ooh, I almost cut five and three eighths, guys. I'm just so used to that. So now we have this little background. Okay. Let me put these things to the side. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we have our piece. Just realized I'm missing one of the stamp sets. I know that whenever I bought it, I have picked up both stamp sets, but I'm trying to see if there's some sentiments or something. Okay, so if this is our paper, I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm just going to take a moment. And then I think I'm going to use my um, Anna Griffin 3D kind of foam dots because or squares I guess because the very small ones that she has in her kit are of a lower profile and I don't want this to get too high so um, 
trying to think if I have this here and it's built up and super cute maybe we want to put our sentiment here like stamp it so if that's the case what I can do is let's first uh, layer this guy up let me grab those uh, foam okay. adhesives okay, guys. so I wonder if you can see just by looking in here you can see those these tiny guys are much lower profile than like these guys the rest of the sizes right so I'm gonna use these and it's gonna make it a little more <laughs> you know time consuming because I'm gonna put all these little small things but okay so if that's layer two, because I'm not going to start off with layer one, then I need layer three. Cute. And again, a lot of times um, what I do is I only do like three layers. But what's cool about this one is that this guy's here. That's fine. Um, the layer four is actually on the same plane as this one. It's just a different area. So that doesn't make it like a whole layer thicker, right? So even though it has quite a few layers it's really only going to be so high so I'm going to take a moment to put these guys down just strategically they don't have to be all over the place but maybe one like towards the middle and then one towards this end okay let's just say I was going to cut and come back but you know what that's all I'm going to do for that one and then I'll do the same thing for layer four which is just this little area of our little gal with like her little pile of ornaments it looks like like <laughs> in a little box or something so with this guy I just kind of line it up I love the way he's like peeking around the corner oh my gosh look okay. <laughs> so cute I get a little bit closer so on that same plane is layer four so I'm just gonna take a moment to pop some little uh, adhesives on her so again it's still only two layers really even though it's called layer four and I'll be right back we have those guys and I took the backings off them again, kind of line them up. I'm not kind of, I mean, you have to line them up, right? <laughs> so again, that already gives you a little dimension. If I was only going to do these two layers, I probably would go with a little bit bigger dimensional. But we're going to keep going. Um, let's see here. Oh, you know what? Did I skip one? <gasps> did I skip? Oh, interesting. I don't want to do that again. Um, <laughs> so... This is also supposed to be layer three. I'm sorry, I totally read this wrong because I was like, oh yeah, layer three and then layer four. But um, it is one more set of layers that doesn't have anything missing either. Like, it's just the same. It's just to give you height, right? I don't really care for that. You guys already know that, so I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to even try. It's exactly the same as the layer I just came from. Um, same thing with the house. He's missing the, the gingerbread man, though, on this one. So I suppose if you want the house one more layer, let's do that. I think all they're doing there is trying to get you just a little bit step above. So I will use this guy. He's missing the, the little man, which I really do like the little man just being there, but that's okay. So I'll put layers, some dimensional on the back of this, and the back of this, and I'll be right back. So we have that little house. Again, without our little guy, so I'm just kind of lining up the bobbles or ornaments there. Again, still not too high because I'm using that really thin, kind of smaller... Um, dimensional and then we have this guy now I don't know if I need to do the next one so I'm thinking I might be done here hold on these look kind of funny uh, like right there 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 so for me that is pretty much enough <laughs> layering you already know I don't go too too crazy there is um, another little layer and it's actually the ones at the bottom here which is cute right it's just these little guys but at the same time if I wanted to and use this for something else I have this guy I have our little gal that can layer it and then her little bubbles so everything else is just in the background and I have another card right and with layers in this area which would be really cute so let's leave that like that let's bring this back over I am going to find I mean we can do a die cut we can stamp let me think about what I want to do here like I said I did have both of the stamp sets that came uh, you know in that collection and I can only spot one right now but I don't think the other one had sentiments on it anyway so I'll be right back hey guys you know what I mean that's so cute too I think I'm still gonna place it here and I'll probably l just lay it down flat so we don't have more and more layers but I have this really reflective paper here and I found this word joy really cute from an old 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 diamond press auto ship I think this must have been when the marquee came out does that make sense yeah probably uh, they had an auto ship associated with it, and I had picked up, even though I got one for review to show you guys before it came out. Um, I also bought one so I can get on the auto ship, which is the kind of thing I like to do. But see how it's small? I can still use one of these guys or the smaller folder. I think they just brought some of these on Diamond, my Diamond Press, the, the skinny long ones. Okay, so 
Uh, whenever you're looking at that, make sure you're buying what you're what you think you're buying. Because right now, I know when I saw that, I thought, "Huh, that's interesting." But it's these guys. It's the long, thin ones for the marquee or for your you know original die and press. But it's the long, thinner ones. They do have the elongated <laughs> ones, like for the larger, larger you know area of the marquee, like these guys. But when they brought these, I'm like, "Oh, I hope people don't get confused and order these thinking they're the other ones." But these are great for whenever you have something small like this. And also if you want to put them in the other machine, right? So you still have folders for the other machine. But look at that. Aw. I like that. That's cute. Oh, you know what? That's funny. I didn't think about you can match this up like on the snow line. I kind of brought it down here because I want the little trees to show. But we can put it right on the line so it looks like that's where it is. Let's put that there. Oh, maybe I want to put that up here. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And then here we'll put some other like little dots enamel dots or something. All right, well, put this little guy here. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. And then this guy, I'm going to put a little glue in the back of my hand and just be careful. Again, whenever you have like a specialty paper, you don't really want to like inundate it with glue because sometimes it'll, um, it'll warp a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. I have a ton of spellbinders, like cute little like gem type things that are new. Excuse me. That are new and really, um, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, fun to use, but uh, I think I'll use the ones that come with this because they're exactly the same color. I love this paper pack. The um, In the unboxing, I showed you guys like the papers that go along with this. These feel heavy. This is one little piece and they're like super heavy. That's nice. Let's see. What do we want to do? Maybe some here. What I like to do is make some that are bigger and then some that are smaller, right? But this is kind of a, they're all the same size. So let's just maybe add a little here. And, hmm. Let's maybe add some up here, but I feel like that's, let's see. Oh, I like these little half pearls. They're just really nice and like weighty. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Something like that. And that's our little card for today. You know, done pretty quickly. Again, just doing your little layering and make a little scene. I don't know if that's what that paper is intended for, but that's what it seems like, right? So uh, we could have made it a slimline. Slimline is more of a, again, uh, A4 size, which is 4 by 6 But... All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I have it linked. Um, everything that's available there in the description box. Again, on Ecstasy Crafts, you can get 10% off with my code. And that info will all be there in the description box also. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye now.